Hello, beautiful, and welcome to Makeups. For today's video, once again, we are deep diving into a beautiful zodiac look, a beautiful zodiac headpiece made by moi. Today, we are deep diving into the zodiac Scorpio, and I have a close little spot for it in my heart because one, it is next to mine, and two, it is brothers. Yay. I see you over there, you little goblin. <laughs> Dearest brothers, luckily he's the adopted one. <laughs> you know that you're adopted! That is not some sort of revelation. You're aware of how adopted you are. I would say that you're even 80% adopted, because at the end of the day, we didn't sign anything. We can return you anytime we want. Good luck, you don't have a receipt. Even Kmart takes things without receipts. So for the moment, of course, I'm just preparing my face base, so I'm just making sure that I cover up all of the sin on my face, and that includes not only my caffeine addiction, my sleep deprivation, and my lack of self-preservation, but also all of the other makeup looks I've already done this week, because that glitter, she is saucy, don't get me wrong, I love her so much, don't get me wrong, but once there is glitter, it is never going away. Now that our beautiful base is on, it's just time to go with the pretty colors once again, Ooh! We're going in with this beautiful zodiac palette given to me by my beautiful bestest baby cakes, Joel. Thank you so much, baby cakes. For today, we are of course going in with the Scorpio colors. Ooh, which are all your vibrant red, some glitter, some shimmers, just a touch of everything. For today's video, I decided to take a little bit of inspiration from this photo here because is that liner not? Stellar. Just imagine that, but down the bottom on the eyeliner, you have the little symbol of the Scorpio, like incorporated into the massive liner. So, like, I'm so excited about this because I think this is going to look. Oh! In order to get that kind of situation going on my face, we have to get our fluffiest, duffiest brushes. I think we have this with the two, four, six, eight. Who do we appreciate? Peel off nine. I am going to get pretty much all of those colors really start to like carve out the shapes of my face so i'm talking like the contour situation at the moment because i want the eyeshadows to blend into the cheek this is going to look fantastic now that i put that on i'm just going to go in with scorpio 2 the second one and i'm just going to pack that all over my lid so that i have a good like base color i just i just want to have a good good base color just kind of over everything I love how that this is the lightest one and it is just like, oh, you want light? Never mind. You just get darkness. You get depth. You just get, ooh. Now that we have that one there, we are just going to flip the brush over and get some of that Scorpio 3, the darkest one. And we are just going to put, oh, really pick this on the outside. Yes. Going to lie, those colors are not too different. The peel off screw up and put the same color on the same brush. That is possibility, but I do not know. And then just try and blend that out into the rest of it. And then this beautiful red here, I'm just going to kind of take that on the outer side of the look. That way, there is a little bit more difference between Scorpio 2, which is on the inside, and Scorpio 3, which is on the outside. Because at the moment, I'm just not seeing like a huge amount of like difference between the two. And I want there to be like some sort of significance when it comes to the difference between the shades. So we are just going to buff that in. A little bit rough, but that is okay because it will all work out later but the best part about scorpio is that i have been blessed with monkey i have been blessed with my brother so that means when it comes to the scorpio zodiac ooh, peel off has some first hand knowledge some first hand observations once again i'm not going to say that my sibling is a stereotype but so when i look at the scorpio strengths and weaknesses i see that scorpios you are resourceful scorpios you are brave Scorpios, you are passionate. Scorpios, you are stubborn. Accurate. <laughs> this is apparently one of your strengths, brother. It is not a weakness for you. For you, it is a strength. I wouldn't see it that way, but uh, horoscope.com does. And Scorpios, you probably have one of the most beautiful strengths, and that is you are a true friend. Now, even though I don't want to admit it, from first-hand observations, that is accurate. I could literally go to my brother with like 10 minutes notice and be like, Monkey, I want to do a video where I do makeups on you. Or Monkey, I want to do a video where you do makeups on me. And you know what his reaction is? 
Okay, if that is what you want. He doesn't hesitate. He doesn't do anything like that. I'll be like, monkey, I need to do this video. And he is like, okay, how can I help? He is, I don't want to. Yes, I know I'm saying nice things about you. Go away. Haha, uh -huh, he loves me. I don't. <laughs> Lies. I don't love you. I just appreciate you. There is difference. Do not get it twisted. Unfortunately, Pilof does have to admit that that specific one... Not unfortunately for all Scorpios out there, just Pilof does not want to admit when her brother is a good human being because I don't want him to get a big head about it. But at the same time, brother, you want to know what your weaknesses are? You are distrusting. Accurate. You are also jealous. Accurate. You are also very secretive. Accurate. But apparently you are also violent. That is not, that is not accurate. So for the bottoms of my eyes, I'm just going to get a smudge brush and carry the colors all the way through and then fade them out exactly the same way that I've done top eye. Granted, at the moment, I look mental. But don't worry, it will all work out in the long run. Trust the process. Trust Pilof. When I've read that Scorpios are just described as violent, I was like, wow, that is, that is harsh. That is... That is harsh. Okay, so just every single Scorpio out there is violent? Yeah, so brother, apparently you are supposed to be stereotypically a violent kind of person. The only thing I've seen you be violent towards is a steak with a knife. He gets a fork and he just... <laughs> that kind of thing, right? It is... It is vicious to watch. Like, you watch it and you think you're watching, like, a National Geographic documentary about the cavemans? I don't understand how his digestive system works, because when it comes to him eating, I don't really see him chew. I just see him like... Arr, arr, and then it's gone like a duck. The vibrant red and matte colors are now on, which means we get to go in with the shimmers. So I'm just going to get these shimmery kind of like goldy bronze kind of colors. And I'm just going to get myself this flat brush and I'm going to start with the lightest looking one. Scorpio 5. We're just going to put that lightly where I would typically put a cut crease, but we aren't doing a cut crease today because we would just cover up that magnificence with some eyeliner anyways. So now that that beautiful dark bronze kind of shimmer is on, I'm just going to do a teeny bit of highlighting. I want to get all of the layers on around this section before I do the liner because I don't think doing that after the liner really makes sense, yes? So I'm of course just going to get my Makeup's Revolution Set the Tone Highlighter, which is just this pure white kind of highlighter. It really suits peel off skin tone because I am pasty. Milk has a tan in comparison to me. Our eyes are really starting to come together. So as I said, before I go on with any of the eyeliners, I want to make sure that all of this section is really together. So I'm just going to go on with my brow. When it comes to my brows, I'm like everyone. I'm very, very repetitive because all I do is get a brow brush, my brow cake, dip it into my color, fill in my brows so they are nice, thick, fluffy, Duffy caterpillars. I want my eyebrows to be asking else who are you? But all I do for brows is I fill them in with the brow cake and then I get some hairspray. Just to spiky them up at the ends. So now the brows, eye chalks and highlight is on. It is on to the stresses. Looking at the photo, we have a lot of lines to try and flick, drag, hope for the best. Let's just have a bit of an intimate moment and Pilof will show you how she does her eyeliner. So if you are new to Pilof channel, hello, welcome, hope you're enjoying your stay. Do not forget to take your complimentary cookie on your way out and come back anytime. If you are not new here, you know exactly what you have to do. Buckle up, buttercup, and pray for Pilof safety. I just get my eyeliner, which is $4 from Kmart, I just put it in the outer corner, I flick, I drag, and I hope for the best. And I'm doing that like 20 times today. Flick. Ooh! I want a bit of a thin wing today though. Let's see if that happens. That is pretty thin! So now we just need to fill in the rest and hope that left eye matches up. And then we get to start going on with the real difficulties. I think this is just starting to become a permanent character development because this looks pretty to like it is not perfect but like that is pretty close yay left eye peel off is amazing left eye is amazing bright eye always amazing so the big guns today is my jeffree star weirdo lipstick it is this black matte lipstick and she is you can see when i like swirl her on the inside she's starting to get the teeniest bit empty which hurts peel off's heart a bit what i'm going to do is i'm just going to get all of my small liner brushes so by the looks of the photo, we have kind of a cut crease kind of situation. I'm going to start with the up and then move down. So I'm going to get this one called Detailed Liner. And I'm just going to get her into the matte liquid lipstick. And I'm going to put down where I 
think I want this to go. So I'm just going to look down upon the enemies. Okay, not too bad. Rough lines first, and then I will fix them up after. Okay, that doesn't look too bad. Okay, we've just got to we've just got to clean up a few little details, yes? So the Scorpio symbol will go there. See, everything is fine. Only some minor stress, but at the moment we are a Scorpio. We are being resourceful by using lipstick instead of eyeliner. We are being brave by attempting this eyeliner. We are being passionate because look at this. Is this not passionate about makeups? We are being stubborn because I refuse to do anything else. And we are being a true friend because we are hyping up left eye as much as the right eye because left eye, you've been doing so good lately. So really, I am taking all of the strengths of a Scorpio right now. What's the room? Okay. Almost there, almost there. Look, she looks fabulous and I'm so happy about that, but oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I think I took three breaths throughout that whole entire ordeal. Time to get left eye, baby cakes, left eye. Favorite, second favorite eye, but still like climbing up there. Second favorite eye, just, you can do this baby cakes. I believe in you, you can do this. Also, your hand just kind of has to look like this so that your eye can look like this, yes? So, so far. For dearest brother, dearest sister, they have gotten the graphic liners. Interesting. Biological brother is Libra. I wonder if... Wait, my brother's wife is also a Scorpio. She's one of the sweetest people I've ever met in my life! She doesn't have a vial of bone in her body! This is... this is trash! No, no, they, 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 the same way that Leo, how dare you call my father and my mother lazy? How dare you call... How dare you, how dare you call one of the sweetest people I know violent? Like this beautiful human being, for her birthday one time, my family took her to the aquarium because she, she'd never been to the aquarium and we wanted to show her the pretty little fishies. And you know what? She was smiling the whole entire time just because of cute little fishies. Granted, I would do the same thing, but it was like looking, it was, just, it was, it was, it was just the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. And you think that woman is violent? How dare you? That is, that is, that is a cry. How dare, how dare, how dare you horoscope? Peel off's getting heated again. Peel off should never attempt zodiac signs that involve her family again because she gets heated. For don't get me wrong, but, but, but for my brother's wife, she's so lovely. The only thing that she's ever been violent towards is a coffee. And that is because coffee is good. I just, I'm so heated. Because I thought until just then that she was a Libra. And then I re-looked at the dates. Scorpio. Finally, I just, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. But they do have one of the strengths correct. Because she is a true friend. She'll just send me a message being like, hope you're doing okay. Hey, I really like that video. Just so supportive. So yeah, she is a true friend. But not a violent one. I just, I'm so heated. Like, is peel off crazy? Or does this look almost even? Like when I say almost, I mean that I put the Scorpio sign over here instead of over here. Because I didn't think the mirror image would make sense. But is peel off crazy? Or does this look kind of even? Both eyes did it! Yeah! Pilof is amazing. Pilof is amazing. Pilof is fantastic. This is it for the eye looks. The chalk and the liner and the highlighter. This is it for it. So with all of this on and looking immaculate, we only need one more step to really make this pop, yes? Eye feathers! I love some eye feathers. So I'm just going to go in with my kiss pompadour feathers. So for eye feathers, I just get them in between my peachy boys that are naturally flamingo. And then I just get a good helping of some white glue a white glue that specifically dries down into a cute blue hue because that blue hue is enough to tell me like oh she's good to go onto the eyelids and now peel off just has to understand that some things take time and they have a teeny bit of patience which is not really a forte of mine but that is okay because i know one thing that all of you have been waiting for yes i know that every single one of you is on the tips of their toes the edge of their seats bracing themselves for the scorpio horoscope now Scorpios, this horoscope is accurate. This horoscope is factual because I have been doing so much research for all of the zodiacs, for all of the stars, for all of the planets and how this corresponds with all the constellations, yes? So because I've been doing all this physics, gymnastics, mathematics, chemistries, because I've been doing everything like that, I've been able to map out exactly what is going to happen to you tomorrow, yes? To Tomorrow and this is going to last you for quite a while until one of the planets is like left your kind of constellation alone But uh, I forget which one off the top of my head. I think it is Mars. Every 
every single Scorpio out there tomorrow, starting tomorrow. And then for a foreseeable amount of time until Mars scoots away, yes? Tomorrow, every single one of you are going to be blessed. With what I hear you ask? Well, you are going to be blessed with the ability to have your favorite food whenever you want, wherever you want. You are able to get your food. You are able to have access to your food at all times. How much you want, it doesn't matter. If you want to eat two gallons of something, you can eat two gallons of something. If you want it while you're on the toilet, you can have it while you're on the toilet. But she's a bit of a catch-22 because in order for you to really enjoy your food and be able to eat your food before it can even touch your beautiful lips, your favorite food, it first must be dropped on the ground. For your sake, I hope it's not soup. Like that is not tantalizing because there are some grounds out there which like, oh, if you drop it in the dirt, just a cute little wormy goes. So tomorrow you are able to have your favorite food whenever you want, wherever you want, how much you want, it does not matter. But it has to fall on the ground first. To every Scorpio out there, please let me know in the comments what is your favorite food because I want to know. What foods are getting dropped tomorrow? Like, there is such an array of foods, yes? Just, I just want to know the array of foods. Like, ice cream, that is not something that you really want to drop on ground because you're taking everything up with it. Pizza, also, like, really sticky, really oily. You do not want to be... You just... Just try and avoid carpets, yes? Because everything is just going to soak into that, whether it's solid or liquid or not, because the oils on the outside, like, they are just going to seep, soak, just everything is going to get... Cut. Stay on tiles. Stay on clean, freshly bleached tiles because then you can eat it off the floor because it, it does not matter. It is so clean, so sanitized, yes? Pilaf is not ashamed to eat some things off the floor if it is perfectly sanitized. There is also an 80% chance that I have already done that. But now that the lash is nice and tacky, I'm just going to her onto my eyes. So I don't really know how to describe how to put lashes on. I just can kind of do it. I usually start in the middle at an up angle and then drag the outside and the inside in and then pinch them together just to make sure that they are nice and secure. I forgot to guillotine again. First I fix the eyeliner, then I use the guillotine, then I use the mascara, and then I put back on the eye feather. I knew it was going too good. I knew it was going too good. That is twice this week I've done this. The only difference is, is this time I've ruined some of the liner. But luckily, I fixed liner. Of course it happens to left eye. Left eye. LEFT EYE! You are doing so good! You went the bad books again, baby cakes. Guillotine, clamp, clamp, mascara, pinch boys and feather, glue, and have patience. <laughs> Eye feathers are now properly on mascara, guillotine, and all, and look at this. Just look at my, look at my, mm, I am stunning. I look fabulous. I look amazing. Still like, ooh, who is she? But also fight me, I dare you. Also compare the pair. Compare before without feathers and now with feathers. The difference, she may be a bit subtle, but also still extravagant, yes? So for some of the last tips, I just want to bring the contour to my nose. So I'm just going to use one of the brushes I used for eyeshadow. Please no one judge me. Actually, peel off deserves judgment at this point. And then I'm just going to chisel it down a bit, just to, just to give a teeny bit of shape, a teeny bit of dimension and then for a highlight i'm just going to go back in with my set the tulun highlighter just so that we have like some consistency yes use it on the inner corner and the eyebrow use it on the cheeks in the upper lip i'm going to try and be light with this side just because of the m and then for the cupid's bow we just do a dark face going for the gold and then for the nose just a cute little doot -do -do. And then for the lips, I just want to carry this red theme throughout. So I'm just going to go in with this cherry wood lipstick. Ooh, given to me by the beautiful Monique that watches these videos. Once again, thank you so, so much, baby cakes. I know I say that every video, but like, there was a lot of lipsticks. Like, I'm never going to run out of lipsticks. There are so many, and so many colors to play with too. It is amazing. Uh, for lips, I like my lip shape, so I just follow it. Uh, I'm still learning how to use the lip liners. Uh, but if you want to overdraw them, overdraw them. If you want to underdraw them, underdraw them. At the end of the day, makeups is what you want to do. Oh, I love this red. She's so short. Oh, she's just so good, so vibrant. Just a cute Marilyn Monroe moment, yes? Except a little bit vampy, a little bit spicy, with a little bit of tang, yes! Oh, wait! No! That means that this is it for the makeups! That is it for the makeups! Oh my god! This is it for the makeups! Okay, so I have to get happy. Now that the makeups is on, Pilaf is looking stunning as ever. No one is surprised. 
prize though, because she is what? The golden god! A golden god! The happiest that I've made for you, Scorpio, is... I have made you cute little tail! Like those that are kind of singer. So I'm once again going to put it on, but now look at what the what everything kind of looks like together, because I want the reveal like you are going to get it, yes? We are going to experience this together. Are we ready? Three, two... well even as well. I did so good! But now the peel-off looks immaculate! The horoscope is given and sexy slow-mos are done! That is it for today's video. <laughs> it means the peel-off have to say goodbye! Again! I'm sick of saying goodbye! I'm sick of saying- I'm sick of saying goodbye! But that is okay because tomorrow I'm back for another video! For another zodiac, makeups and horoscope! Who is tomorrow's victim? Ooh. But before I do say farewell, before I do bid my adieus, I need to make sure that every single one of you know something incredibly important, incredibly special. It can just be between us. I need you to know something. We are just going to have a cute little intimate moment. I need you to know that you are stunning, that you are beautiful, that you are perfect in every single shape, way, and form, in every single one of them. You are the definition of perfection, the definition. Go look in the dictionary, all of your photos are there. Beauty is from the inside out. It does not matter how much makeups you wear, you could wear nothing to everything. It doesn't matter how much you have, you could have nothing to all of the things, yes? It doesn't matter what skill level you are. You started yesterday, you have been doing it for years. It does not matter, because at the end of the day, this means nothing. It is what you give to the world and give to people. And you know what you have given me? You have given me a bright spark in every single one of my days. You have given me something to look forward to every single day. And that is something that I find absolutely priceless. That is something that money cannot buy. And that is why I know that you are beautiful from the inside out. I see it firsthand. But you know who hasn't seen it firsthand? The world. The world has not seen firsthand how stunning you are how beautiful you are, how perfect you are in every single shape, way, and form. Hmm, I know. Travesty. Absolute travesty. What are their lives? Their lives are meaningless, have no purpose. Why do they even bother kind of lives? <laughs> do the one that are front porch. Their lives have no meaning unless you show them how beautiful you are. So you need to go out into the world, spiritually and metaphorically at the moment, but you need to go out into the world and show them the definition of perfection. You, that way their lives can finally, for the first time ever, have some sort of meaning, have some sort of purpose. Without you, they have none of that. So you need to go out into the world and show them and give them some sort of purpose. And while you're out there in the world showing them and giving their lives purpose, do not forget what your mother always say. If you can't, say something nice. Say something cruel. 